Do you know if having a cappuccino from a coffee shop increases blood sugar levels more than homemade coffee? Let's find out. Today I'm having a cappuccino from Starbucks, the short size, which is the smallest one, along with one sachet of sugar. In total, this should be around 90 calories. Let's see what happens. The smallest size was around 250 ml, similar to the hot coffee that I had at home. So the comparison will be fair. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. Only 18 mg increase? I did not expect this because when I had homemade hot coffee, that had increased my blood sugar levels by 26 mg. This is 30% lesser. This should not have happened because in both cases, I added the same amount of sugar. One sachet and one teaspoon. Same thing. And the same milk was also used. Toned milk with 3% fat. I actually asked Starbucks. Okay, I see what happened. Homemade coffee was made with half milk, half water, whereas the cappuccino was made with two-thirds milk. And that added extra proteins and fats which helped in keeping the sugar spike low. Incredible. And this also explains why it took much longer for my blood sugar levels to come back to normal. Two hours versus one hour and 15 minutes. Because the glycemic load also got spread out. This tells me that if I want to reduce the sugar spike of homemade coffee without removing sugar, all I need to do is make it with two-thirds milk instead of 50-50. And that also will have a big impact.